you know, like the matrix object is a super duper light uh, object to work with, especially in the viewport. And uh, recently, I think Redsh, well, I guess recently at the time that I made this, uh, Redshift had enabled, like being able to instance objects on a matrix object and seeing that I'm like, oh, this is perfect because, you know, I could work with it within the scene and at render time, it kind of populates um, everything. So like if I turn off all these matrix objects, you will see that it's just like a ground um, plane with displacement. That's the base. And then as you enable some of these matrix objects, you kind of see like, it's just like a layering different elements. And that's right. what makes the scene feel really good. If you have like, like the same plant all the time, and maybe I'll just kind of zoom in here. So yeah, I mean, the first thing we have here is some, you know, some grass. As you start to build up the, the you know, the forestry, mm -hmm. it be, that's how it begins to look more realistic because now on top of the grass, you have like some larger shrubs. Like if I hop into this redshift object here, we, we see like the objects that are being kind of cloned on here. And these are all stored like in this area here. These are like the different plant assets that okay. we're kind of cloning on. So this okay. is all, this is all instant. You see like, as soon as I hit this, like as soon as I hit it, you know, and it's like, hundreds of plants it's just right boom it, it begins to render i'll just do a quick example to kind yeah. of showcase how it works i feel like i'm totally unfamiliar with using the redshift instance stuff because you said is it a fairly new feature sometime last year maybe the year before okay okay so at this point it's been out a little bit like a little while ish gotcha. this is the thing about using like a matrix you know you could you could like you know you can really crack it up in the scene right yeah like wow. this is yeah, in just... you know in the scene, you could probably drop a another zero here and hopefully it doesn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's over like a million, you know, it's like a m million different things in here. You can always just turn that off as well. And you know, that, that works. Uh, but let's, I don't know, let's do like, what is this? 10,000, maybe a hundred thousand. Why not a million? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like a million. I like that. Let's go high. Let's drop the scale of these so we could actually kind of just, you know, wow. Right, actually see, yeah. Yeah, That's but some... even with the scale low, there's still so many of them. You could drop these even lower. What does a million of these look like when they're really tiny? I mean, it's basically like, you know, little flakes of snow. Oh, yeah. I just realized I was putting this into the wrong place. That's why I didn't. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, right. there you go. So... What's the object we could put in here? Let's use our 21 new thing. I don't know. The new asset browser. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Close that. Just going to make it editable. Boom. There's a person. Shrink it down. And then key is let's just create a redshift tag and it's super simple i'm gonna make sure it's on the matrix object there's already the particles tab okay all, all you gotta do yeah like this is a smart tag so once it's on a op, once it's on an object that can close or create particles that particle tab will, comes up automatically i gotcha i feel like i've never why I've never seen that is because I've never placed that tag on a matrix object. Exactly. You know, yeah. Or if you do it on like an X particles emit or something like that. And there's a feel here for custom objects. We can literally throw anything in here. And then boom. I hit render. Let's see what happens. And now will they be shrunk down to the size of that the matrix, the matrices then? Yeah. It, gotcha. Because they'll 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 adapt to that size, I guess. But Oh, that's, oh man, <laughs> they're, all, they're all lying down. I think I just oh. need to. But I mean, that's a million of these objects. That's incredible. I mean, this is this is like your octane scatter for those of you out there that might not realize that, you know, something like this is possible within Redshift. Exactly. And it's nice, too, because you could just alter the scale, you know, in the tag itself. And yeah, I mean, like this is so that's so fast. Yeah, let me just put the that's uh, incredible. The undersampling on so so the undersampling I feel like is another one of those things that probably people don't know too much about yeah. as far as like speeding up your render. So basically, that's just down resing 
in the Redshift render view, so it just get a snappier feedback. Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. So it just like makes everything look a lot better. And then all you need to do is just create a sun sky rig and boom. Boom. You got a new. You got the twenty twenty one reel already on its way. That's the first shot. <laughs> I mean, this is so strange. <laughs> if you never want to get a job again, just start with, or really weird jobs, start with this. Exactly. If this is a new <laughs> NFT, sells for a hundred bucks. hundred thousand. Mint bucks. it. Mint it. I feel like it might sell. <laughs> I think it would. Low effort <laughs> NFTs. You, it's, a, it's a thing. Sometimes you can win the jackpot with these. Exactly. That's essentially, um, you know, that technique. So you use this for, yeah, so just you walk through all the matrix objects that uh, you didn't name, by the way. So great job there. Of course. Uh, I'm going to ding you there. <laughs> <laughs> matrix was matrix tree. But then it, I, I just knew it was like a different type of shrubbery. I think in this first one, we have like three different blades of grass. Maybe let me see if I could find specifically which asset that is and then find it within the scene. So we, we get an idea of how that looks like. Yeah, it's so cool the way that the, you know, this redshift scatter system works is that it totally keeps your viewport light as well, you know? Exactly. It's great. So this, I mean, yeah, exactly. Like everything's already enabled here. It's just like those matrix objects yeah. floating there. But yeah, I just have like the assets hidden underneath the scene. So yeah, you know, it's like a couple of those, those grass uh, models in. Like mm -hmm. the key thing to make it look good is just like getting that balance of getting the specular so you get like a little shininess on those yeah. 